to all our viewers, I want to welcome you to our today's health talk. And for our today's presentation, we want to have a look at what is referred to as weight loss. Now, before we get into it, let's under understand what weight means. So weight simply means the amount that a person weighs. So that when you get into a facility, then you take your weight, that is what you actually weigh. It's unfortunate to use a word to define a word, but that is how simple it is. It's better we be as simple as possible. So that amount which someone weighs, that is what is referred to as weight. So that weight can either be lost or it can either be gained. So for our today's video, we want to look at the weight loss. Now, there are several causes of weight loss that of course have been identified. And that is what we are going to get into. But before that, let's have a look at the types of weight loss. So there are two major types of weight loss. And the first one is called the intentional weight loss, sometimes referred to as explained weight loss. The second type is called the unintentional weight loss, or sometimes referred to as unexplained weight loss. So of course the first type, which is the intentional weight loss, this is actually a one's initiative that you willing, willingly decides to lose your weight. So this can either be through what we call fasting, or it can even, even be through exercise. So there are certain exercises that one can do to lose weight. But now for the unintentional weight loss, this is what raises a lot of concern, because this is where one loses weight uh, to an extent that he or she is not unable to explain. And this is where a lot of investigation needs to be done to actually find out what could be the cause of the loss. Now, the normal weight is presumed to be actually within the normal body mass index. And the normal body mass index is 18.5 to 24.9. Anytime the body mass index reads 26 to 29, then that is referred to as overweight. Reading above 30, body mass index is called obesity. So what are some of the causes of weight loss? The first one is called cancer. And this one is now very common because cancer is now on the rise. The second one are chronic infections. For example, as seen in TB infections. The next cause of weight loss is dementia. And dementia simply refers to forgetfulness. The next one is dental diseases, as seen in periodontal diseases. The next cause of weight loss is depression, which is actually very severe stress or that serious stress. The next cause of weight loss is diabetes mellitus, which is also a very common illness. If you want to understand more about diabetes mellitus, kindly click on our video on diabetes mellitus, which is rightly available within this channel. The next cause of weight loss is called hypercalcemia, and hypercalcemia simply means that high calcium levels in the blood. The next cause of weight loss is hyperthyroidism. And this refers to overreactive or overactive of the thyroid gland, resulting into production of excess thyroid hormones. 
which are commonly referred to as the T3 and T4. The next cause of weight loss is hyponatremia. And hyponatremia simply means low sodium levels in the blood. The next cause of weight loss are certain neurological diseases, for example, the Parkinson's disease, number two, stroke. And stroke is also very common. To understand about stroke, check in our video where we talked about the complications of hypertension. The next cause of weight loss is referred to as Addison's disease, and this is more of an autoimmune disease that actually affects the adrenal glands, resulting in the production of very low adrenal hormones. And this can present with even low blood pressure. The next cause of uh, weight loss is referred to as excessive alcohol consumption. And ladies and gentlemen, alcohol, as you've seen, actually cuts across in almost all the conditions. And therefore, the information still remains. Refrain from alcohol consumption. The next cause of weight loss are certain GIT conditions. For example, chronic peptic ulcer disease, simply referred to as the PUD. Then, uh, the next example in that list is called the celiac diseases. The next cause falling under the GIT is called the Crohn's disease. And the Crohn's disease is also more of an autoimmune destruction of the GIT lining. The next one under GIT is called ulcerative colitis. Now the next cause of weight loss is HIV AIDS. And HIV is also very common, and therefore one needs to take into account the various precautionary measures to help prevent HIV infection acquisition. The next cause of weight loss is called the heart failure, which is also very common. Our next cause of weight loss, particularly in children, is malnutrition, as seen in either one, kwashako, marasmus, or even marasmic quash. Ladies and gentlemen, those are just but a few causes of weight loss. The list is very long. And therefore, should you come across anyone experiencing weight loss, particularly the unexplained weight loss, or should you as an individual experience unexplained weight loss, kindly visit the nearby health facility or simply refer the person to the nearby health hospital for quick intervention. If you are watching us for the very first time, kindly subscribe. And until next time, it's goodbye from all of us.